New details in the fight and shooting case out of Glenwood. The two men, Colton McDaniel and Denver Cook, were in court Wednesday afternoon. The third suspect and the shooter, Hurl Beecham, the third was not. Our Aaron Murray was there and shares with us the latest details in this case. Denver Cook left the Mills County Courthouse in handcuffs Wednesday. He and Colton McDaniel were arraigned on charges connected to a fight and shooting that happened Sunday. Also released, the affidavit outlining what investigators believe happened. And County Attorney Tricia McSorley says there really are two separate crimes here. An assault uh, that occurred, and then that assault ended, and then there was a shooting that occurred. So it's almost that there was, or not almost, but there was two separate events occurring in a very short period of time. The affidavit says a group of six people were walking by Glenwood High School principal Richard Hutchinson's rental home when a girl on a phone uttered a racial slur. Hutchinson's wife Randy spoke up trying to correct the group, but they kept walking. The affidavit says this is when Richard left his yard and went to ask the group why the slur was said. But in doing so, the affidavit says an argument began and Hutchinson's wife went and got her son, Hurl Beecham III, to come outside. A fight then ensued, Cook knocking Hutchinson unconscious. Shortly after, Beecham pulled a gun and shot McDaniel. We asked the county attorney why a self-defense argument is not being granted to Beecham. The assault had ended when the shooting occurred. So at that time, there wasn't a reason for uh, self-defense because there wasn't an active assault going on. The crime is also not being deemed as a hate crime or a racially motivated crime. McDaniel bonded out Wednesday. However, Cook did not. We asked the county attorney about Beecham and they said they expect him to turn himself in in the next 48 hours. The county attorney's office did say only one shot was fired and the gun did belong to Beecham. Now here's the breakdown of the charges right here. And remember, the county attorney did say they kind of view this as two different crimes that just happened closely together. The first is the fight, and that's what Cook and McDaniel got a lot of charges for, willful injury and assault causing bodily injury. And the other is the shooting, and that's what Beecham got a lot of charges for. John and Mallory, intimidation with a dangerous weapon and assault while displaying a dangerous weapon. Two counts on that one. And Aaron, where is Beecham at this point? Well, right now he has not turned himself in, and the county attorney's office didn't seem worried about it. They said they expect him to turn himself in in the next two days. All right, thank you. That's Aaron Murray reporting live. Well,